Hi, welcome to French Cheeks Top Tip Videos. My name is Craig Phillips, I'm their brand ambassador, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply four different waxes to create four different effects. But first of all, I'm going to paint this picture frame using the Anguilla from the original range. Now, when you look at this board, it gives the impression it's four different colours and four different shades, but in fact, it's painted with the Anguilla left to dry, and then the four different waxes are applied. Over in this corner is the white wax. This is going to give it a bleached, a washed out look to the actual surface. And then we have the defining wax. This is going to apply on a surface that's got any definition and really draw it out to give it some depth to the actual surface itself. Now the clear wax, this like all the waxes is going to protect the surface, but of course it leaves it a transparent look so you can always keep the original color of the paint. And then we've got the brown and wax, which is going to give the surface a more aged look and a darker look, just like it does in this corner. Now the first stage is to paint the actual frame. So I'm going to start by removing the glass. Take the lid off this anguilla. You can see that beautiful colour. I'm going to apply it on with one of French Cheeks brushes. French Cheeks chalk paint, it's so easy to apply, lovely and smooth and it gets in between all of the detail of this quite well detailed frame. So I've applied two coats of paint of the Anguilla on the actual picture frame, I've let that dry, I'm ready to start applying the wax. I'm going to start with the white wax first, I'm using one of French Cheeks brushes, getting a fair amount on the edge of the brush and I'm going to apply this on initially like I was painting the actual surface. It goes on nice and smooth, there literally is no odour whatsoever coming from the wax and I'll just cut it into the corners here with the brush and it's looking quite, quite white at the moment to give it that beached out washed look. So now that wax is applied, I'm going to let that soak into it for 30 seconds or a minute and I'm going to come onto the opposite side and apply some of the darker browning wax. Straight away you can see a huge difference in colours. Now of course they won't stay this light or this dark in a couple of minutes when we've actually wiped the excess wax off the surface. Now these brushes are purposely made for applying the wax on it allows it to get in between all of the detail, otherwise it would be quite hard to actually paint with a, a standard brush. Okay, so now I'm just going to take some tissue and start to wipe off the excess of the wax, but leaving a majority of it in between the detail, the definition of the actual surface is what we want to aim for. But for me, it's just beautiful to apply, there's no smells whatsoever. It's easy, quick and enjoyable to actually work with. So now I've wiped off all the excessive wax off it, you can really see the difference now in the actual four colours. And when you start to see results like this automatically happening, before you've even finished, you just get excited and want to do more and more. Now I'm going to leave that now for about 20 to 30 minutes before I buff it. But what I also want to show you, you can apply the wax on other surfaces that aren't painted. You can apply it to an OSB board, which is a recycled compressed wood. You can apply it onto a soft wood and even a hard wood. So I'm going to start off by using the browning wax. It's equally as easy to apply, just like it was 
on the actual frame. Look how rich that colour is starting to really enhance on that natural wood. You can see it's drawing out the grain. For me, that is a winner. It looks beautiful. I'm also going to get a defining wax. And that will give it that little bit more older look to the timber. Now, the hardwood one, I think I'm going to go for a white. It's just so easy to apply, so smooth and creamy. And likewise with the frame, I'm just going to let this settle in for 30 seconds to a minute and then wipe off the excess with a cloth. And look at that finish on here. So now all four waxes have penetrated into the chalk paint and ready to buff it off and make it nice and shiny. And if we look really close up, you can see that some of the wax is still caught in between the definition of this type of frame. And I'm just buffing the other edges up, which is giving it that lovely sheen effect. And that's enhanced even more again on the brown and wax here. Now hopefully I'll have inspired you to be creative with French Cheek Wax. If you want some more inspiration, why don't you visit the French Cheek Fan Forum on Facebook or check out your local stockists on frenchcheekpaint.co.uk.